Hi, I'm Dr. Chase Hayden, and I'm from the Hayden Institute. You can find out more about me at www.haydeninstitute.com. Today we're going to talk about light therapy. Light therapy is a type of treatment that a lot of patients are starting to receive now in different variety or in a different variety of medical practices, from veterinary medicine to dentistry to podiatry to chiropractic to alternative medicine techniques. A lot of different places have these light therapy devices. And we do too here at the Hayden Institute. And I just wanted to show you the kind that we use, talk a little bit about them and what they do for you, and how you can benefit from a symptomatic standpoint by incorporating light therapy into your life and using it with your rehabilitation sessions. So light therapy is based on the premise that your body responds to light. We know this by going outside, for example. We have reactions to the sunlight. The ultraviolet rays that come from the sun affect our skin and turn it from a tan to eventually a bright red color from too much ultraviolet light exposure. We also create vitamin D inside of our bodies by using light as the main catalyst or the main stimulant in that vitamin D production. Well, we can also use light to stimulate the decrease of inflammation in our body, to accelerate energy production, to rehabilitate nervous, the nervous system, to, to do a lot of really cool things. So in our office, we use three different light therapy devices. This is one of them. This here is a true laser. So some light therapy devices are lasers, some are called light emitting diodes. But this one, when I turn it on, it forms a focus beam right on top of me. Oh, there it is. So that focus beam comes from the laser that is in this device. And it's very safe. I can put it on my brain, over the back of my head, anywhere on my body. It's going to be pretty safe. Because as long as I'm not looking at it, it shouldn't hurt me. This light therapy device is called a cold laser. Cold laser basically means it does not induce heat production or cause a increase in body temperature and it will not cut or damage tissue. So it stimulates activity, it stimulates the decrease of inflammation, and it stimulates energy production in the body. And I use this with patients to help with neurologic rehabilitation. Now this device here is built, built from LEDs. As you can see, whenever I separate it away from my hand, the focus beam is no longer there. So I use this device to also facilitate in the rehabilitation with my patients, but also for wound healing. This light has red lights on the ends, and infrared lights on the middle. So we don't see infrared with our eyes, and our eyes just aren't built for it. But we do see the red when it's flashing, and the red and infrared work great for decreasing inflammation, and I can couple this with neurologic rehabilitation as well. This third light therapy device that I use comes in the form of sunglasses. Now these glasses have special devices on the inside that will light up, and as they light up and blink, they will stimulate certain portions of my brain based off of where the light is brighter or where it's a little dimmer. And as we're stimulating this portion of my eye, we're stimulating this portion of my brain. So for different patients that have autism or ADD or strokes or different neurologic complications, if I want to target a certain center of the brain, I can use a device like these eye lights to stimulate the eyes, which will stimulate the opposite side of the brain and work on that in that manner. So in our office, we use three light therapy devices to facilitate in healing. Now, the theory on light therapy is still out there. We're not 100% sure at how light therapy devices help the body, but there are a lot of good research papers out there that give us some pretty good indications as to what's going on. One of the predominant theories is a decrease in inflammation is occurring through the stimulation of red and infrared lights. So this light comes into the body, it affects our cells, and it decreases prostaglandins, it decreases interleukins and tumor necro necrosis factor and a bunch of different little molecules that s stimulate inflammation and pain and, and, and problems in the body. So that's one major theory when it comes to light therapy. The other major theory is the increase in cellular energy. So our bodies require what is known as ATP to work on a cellular level. ATP stands for adenosine triphosphate and is like the gasoline that our cells need to fuel the car that makes them go. So when our cells have red light and infrared light stimulate them, they increase their ability to produce ATP or adenosine triphosphate, therefore stimulating cellular energy to be more abundant that can be shared with other cells and, accel and, and accelerate the healing process. So whether light therapy is being used for inflammation purposes or wound healing or nerve regeneration or whether it's being used for increased cellular energy with people with chronic fatigue or fibromyalgia or other chronic conditions, Light therapy can be beneficial for a lot of people for a lot of different 
reasons. And that's why veterinarians use it, dentists, podiatrists, medical doctors, surgeons, chiropractors, and a wide variety of other, a wide variety of other medical professionals are using light therapy now to facilitate their patients' healing. So here at the Hayden Institute, we use laser, LED, and eye light therapy to help our patients to overcome their specific concerns. And we rehabilitate those processes in their body so that they become symptom free. If you have any questions about light therapy, please visit our website, www.haydeninstitute.com. There's a lot of research behind what light therapy is doing in rat studies, how different universities are studying light therapy, such as Harvard Medical School and Stanford University. There's a lot of information on our website because we want to be a resource for you guys when it comes to health and wellness. So if you have any questions, give me a call or email me. Once again, you can find out all my contact information at www.haydeninstitute.com. That's haydeninstitute.com. I'm Dr. Chase Hayden. We'll see you next time. Have a great day.